Hello everyone. So I have two sponge filters going because of the heat wave. I was just trying to cool the water down. I had the lid open. But that's not my question. My question is, my plants aren't doing so well. The tall ones I just transplanted from another tank that I shut down, the third one over there. But if plants consume carbon dioxide during the day and release oxygen, and at night if they consume oxygen and release carbon dioxide and since agitating the water with the sponge filters decreases carbon dioxide and therefore increases oxygen wouldn't I want to turn off my sponge filters and therefore the bubblers at night so that my plants could produce all the carbon dioxide and consume oxygen for the next day. No, actually I'd want to turn on my bubblers at night so it decreases the carbon dioxide, increases the oxygen so the fish are cool and then during the day I want to turn off the sponge filters and the bubblers because I want the carbon dioxide to build up so that the plants can consume it during the day. Is that how it works? Of course I don't need these sponge filters because now my um, my canister filter is rocking out. There it is. It's a Superfish XP Pro 2000. So I don't know. It, it, without playing around with gases. And also, you know, I have these fluorescent tubes. You can see I bought this tank used. So they're old fluorescent tubes. But my plants, you know, they're not flourishing. Some of these have been in there for several months. And I think uh, the reason why... The, the ones there you see are small. I think my my fish were hungry and were probably eating the plants. And uh, this guy's partner died from the during the heat wave, like other fish in my other tanks. Anyway, so that's my question: If plants are affecting CO2 levels, and the uh, bubbles from the sponge filter are expect affecting CO2 levels. Should I turn the sponge filters off at night or during the day? Or does it even matter? What do you think? I suppose I could test everything and figure it out, but I don't want to shock my fish or anything. That's my question to you all.